Hello to all and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the spiritual advice reading for the new moon of May 19th of 2023. So we've got a new moon in Taurus. Uh, this is a time to accept change, right? Things we've been talking about change for a while. Spirit's giving the collective the strength to create change so that we can find peace and tranquility. Uh, there is peace and tranquility developing through certain partnerships, be they personal or professional. Uh, but there is tranquility returning to the area of partnerships with regards to one another. So I'm going to uh, translate Spirit's advice from the Sacred Traveler's deck by Denise Lynn. So spirit is talking to those who've been pra uh, practice, who've been, <laughs> pardon me, traveling lightly. Maybe you've been planning on traveling. Maybe you recently traveled. But the message from spirit is that it is indeed time for the collective to simplify their lives. Okay, uh, travel lightly as you head into uh, a new direction. Whether it is physically in the area of home, uh, in the area of business, or a new location, Spirit saying there will be a breakthrough at hand. Maybe some have been working on yard work or property, um, but Spirit saying now is a time to heal. Open yourself to uh, a spiritual source. Uh, do something that really grounds you day to day. Uh, the time is now to believe in the magic of the joy and delight that Spirit is trying to bring to the collective. They're saying you will reach your destination and abundance will pour into your life, especially to those of you who've been contemplating the expansion of your horizons. Again, whether this is moving to a new home location, a new business situation, there is a process of purification. Um, there is the ascension now uh, to forward movement, uh, greater accomplishments, but it's a bit, uh, we're in this energy of fogginess still in the shadow of the Mercury retrograde, which took place during the first half of May. Uh, you are going to discover the truth of where you are headed over time here, how it is going to eventually transpire. So continue to take those first steps into this new direction and uh, trust that Spirit is going to fill you with energies of joy and gratitude. Make sure you take some time out here to lie back rest and relax someone may be actually uh, kicking back on the 19th watching the clouds contemplating some form of new adventure spirit saying go with the flow this adventure is unfolding and we are trying to guide you uh, in a divinely timed way so surrender to the journey of what's unfolding and don't try to control how things are going to transpire. Many are going to be seen as some form of leader, teaching, learning, guiding, helping others. And there will be this realization of actually stepping into and through uh, the gates of triumph. So tread thoughtfully and trust that eventually there's going to be a realization that beautiful blessings are pouring into your life. Spirit saying there's a divine plan to guide the collective towards greater enthusiasm in their lives. You are strong beyond measure. Um, savor your life. Enjoy the little moments. Give thanks to the little things. As you wander this path into the next chapter of your life, you will come to the realization that you can overcome any obstacles. Uh, there will be support around those who are creating a new path. So choose your path and trust that all is possible at this time. New beginnings are possible at this time. Take action with passion. It is a time to heal and to release. Trust in the wondrous universe. 
uh, to ground you as you redirect your energy towards a new cycle, a new way of existence. Watch for the signs. Eventually the air is going to clear and the collective is going to start to see the big picture. For some, there will be travel to faraway places. I'm not sure if this is going to happen by the end of the day on the 19th of May, but I do feel like Spirit's saying uh, someone's going to be thinking about that, traveling at a distance, planning travel, uh, but Spirit's saying absolutely get ready for wondrous miracles to transpire. For many, there could be a very unexpected uh, opportunity to travel uh, to new horizons. So stay focused and trust that you are right now exactly where you were meant to be. Maybe not even seeing the territory before you. Clear the past and heal the present because a new way of living is emerging. And as you go into the direction of this new way of living, Spirit's saying you will be absolutely protected by the angels because this is the journey by which Spirit's trying to guide you towards. Simplify your life, for that will bring greater passion and courage when it comes to a simpler future. Closing message from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue for the collective May, May 19th of 2023. Yeah, so travel lightly. Some form of attention, positive recognition is going to show up maybe on the 19th. But Spirit's saying to the collective, congratulations. Your plans are working out perfectly. And now is your time to shine. Brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you. And success now is all but assured. Express yourself openly and honestly knowing that those surrounding you at this time are indeed trustworthy. Be open now to unexpected opportunities, for you have grown and evolved. Positive recognition and passion lie before you. See positive recognition right on the 19th. Hmm. I just want to see if that's from a person or a situation, or both. Conflicted about what action steps to take. A wish is coming true. The past is falling away. And the collective is growing stronger. I think this is being acknowledged for what you are creating when it comes to new horizons for yourself. Positive recognition and support is going to come towards you. And it's going to build upon this energy of courage and passion. Keep on keeping on. And remember, uh, for those of you who are doing really well in the area of business, to make sure that you balance your career and your personal life. Many blessings of success to you. Let me know when this positive recognition and attention comes, especially if it shows up on the 19th, which it's meant to for some. Should these messages have resonated for you in some way or you just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video, along with the beautiful comment section. I just want to say a big thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and most importantly, for those continued donations that help to keep this channel up and running. Take care, and God bless.